Hello guys, welcome back to Red Hot TV today. Boko Haram strikes again. Scores killed. Hundreds displaced in deadly invasion. Boko Haram terrorists have invaded many communities in Magumeri local government area of Borono State, killing scores of farmers and herders after rustling hundreds of their domestic animals mostly cows and sheep. Magumere is north and about 40 kilometers from Eduguri, the state capital, which has witnessed a series of Boko Haram attacks. One such attack included the abduction of oil exploration firms workers and staff of the Department of Geology, University of Meduguri, on a mission around the shores of the Lake Chad Basin. Sources said the latest attack forced hundreds of displaced persons from the affected communities of Pushiwa and Koleram to take refuge at Magumeri town with no presence of police and other security agents. Confirming the incident, the acting secretary of the council, Malam Wali, said the whole Communities bordering Magumere local government headquarters, Gubio Council, and Gajigana Axis near Ngazai Council area were currently under Boko Haram control. His words We are much terrified with the latest and deadly attacks by insurgents. The whole communities bordering Magumere local government headquarters, Gubio Council, and Gajigana Axis near Ngazai council area have been terrorized. As I speak to you, communities of Pushiwa and Kuleram are under Boko Haram control. This fresh incident has left many of my people dead and injured, while unspecified number of those who survived the onslaught have relocated to Magumeri for safety as their means of livelihoods have been jeopardized. But we are doing our best to ensure that the displaced ones are properly taken care of as we collaborate with security agencies to find lasting peace in the communities. Hmm. However, Nigerians have reacted to these incessant killings by Boko Haram and the fact that the Nigerian military keep on saying that they are in control and the fact that the Nigerian president said Boko Haram have been defeated, they've been decimated, but attacks, reprisal attacks, attacks that are even worth more than what they've been doing before, attacks that are more deadly keep on happening. The first person said, Where is Bratai and Lai Muhammad? May the blood of those killed by this Boko Haram be on them and their children. Wow. Guest roots, a guest roots. Can't this evil religion be abolished? Asian Okon roots. Where is our military? Where is our air force? This government is truly evil and wicked. I can tell you that these killings will continue until you remove that impostor from Sudan in Aso Rock because he can't do anything because of their agreements. Hmm. Somebody said, it's not true. Do Boko Haram kill herders or farmers? These Boko Haram cannot kill herders whose goal are one to steal, kill, and destroy. That was what Azubike Wisdom said, but this is a lie. Azubike Wisdom, you are not correct. Boko Haram don't have pity for anybody. When they come to kill, they kill anybody that, that obstructs them. Another person wrote, how did Chadian military under their president deal with Boko Haram so much that Boko Haram cried for help that Nigeria's military cannot? Is it not shameful? Hmm. God's word wrote, all we hear is we have decimated Boko Haram. The facts show that it's not by any means near the truth. Another person wrote, I wonder why coronavirus have not killed Shekau and all his terrorists. Don't they get caught by 
coronavirus calm roots the instability and volatility in the region is terribly high and the rest of the country could have spillover could have spillover effects if something urgent and decisive is not done I appreciate the fact that the government and the armed forces have committed immeasurable efforts to check the murderous menace. The apparently unabating bloodletting is worrisome to every peace-loving citizen. I continue to wonder if other African countries are as unstable as ours because I wake up to read about blood-stained news on a daily basis. Hmm. Another person wrote, Another shedding of innocent people's blood. Things hidden from humans are 100% clear to the almighty living God of heaven and earth. May the almighty living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rescue innocent people. And may the same almighty living God say, Vengeance belongs to our creator. So hand over all, our, all the problems to our creator. For well, surely, God's grace will bring about vengeance. Okay? Guest wrote again, repented Boko Haram terrorist of General Muhammad Buhari, the Nigerian military detector. Another person wrote, the staff of the Department of Geology, Unimed, at the University of Medjugorje, and the workers of oil exploration firm on suicide mission around the shores of Lake Chad Basin should know about the antecedents of terrorists in that general area. Another person wrote, Is Boko Haram not part of one Nigeria? If they like, if they like, let them finish all of them. Okay, that was very bad. Akanini Kere Obong wrote, Those cows stolen or rustled are full of knees, not their owners. This is where they should go to show their strength with AK 47 rifles not on southern Nigerians or southern Nigerian farmlands and armless villagers in other parts of the country. Chimauchi Ekeledo wrote, the chief of army staff said that he will not leave Boronu until Boko Haram is defeated. Where is he hiding now? Hmm. And that person wrote, hmm. How long are we going to continue with this? God, please heal this nation and forgive our sins. We are tired of killings every day. Rescue us from Philistines of this country. Arise and intervene, O oh God. Don't let your children perish. Hmm. Another person wrote, Fulani killing Kanori. One of the few empires in the north they could not conquer. This government is a mistake. Indeed, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. These innocent ones voted to install this monstrosity. The North created the Marjorie system, and Aulowo was right. The children of the poor you failed to educate and care for would not let your children rest and live peacefully. Mm. Northana should wake up and rise up against feudalism and embrace more modern and sustainable ways of living and evolving society. Another person wrote, Jubril of Sudan read a written script from Kabals, telling Nigerians we are better secured now than 2015, and the army, army have done their best. Someone whose relatives have been killed or displaced in Magumere will now be very happy with comments from Kabals. Okay. And that person wrote, Hellfire awaits those responsible for these heinous attacks after they paid for the crimes they committed here. And that person wrote, Prince Chinua, to be specific, wrote, The headsmen you see in other parts of Nigeria are militants brought in to kill Christians by the Fulanese. But the ones in Far North are the real headsmen. They don't travel far beyond their states of origins. So Boko Haram can kill those ones because they are real houses. 
God bless Sylvester Rhodes. It's God that will judge Buhari APC government and service chiefs. Buhari and APC government are disaster and a loss to Nigerian people. Wow. This is very heartbreaking. This is very disheartening. So guys, if you have anything to say concerning this, drop your comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.